Hey guys, how's it going? Well, I just got my uh, package delivered from Perlator. Looks to be that uh, this is the return of my uh, Traxxas Summit VXL 116 scale that uh, I bought and had to send it into Future Shop. Because, or, sorry, not Future Shop, but Traxxas. Uh, because it was defective. Which really didn't amuse me much. But, I guess stuff happens, so let's uh, check and see, make sure everything's here that I sent with it, because I packed everything but the original manuals with it. Um, just an invoice saying that uh, something to do, I guess they replaced a battery, and... I don't know. We'll figure it out anyways. Let's pull it out and check and see. They said they would also send me uh, some parts with this thing to compensate me for my cost of shipping. But uh, I guess maybe they're in the box if they did send them. So, we have my radio. Mm, looks like the trim is in the same place where I left it, so hopefully they did something about the steering on this thing. Uh, charger for my battery. And it looks like... Well, we got one battery inside the truck. I sent it with two inside. Oh, there's the new battery. Wow, they did not send me any parts to compensate me for the shipping like they said they would. Isn't that mighty white of Traxxas on that one? Let's just better hope that this truck runs properly. They said they put a longer antenna tube on this thing, which, I don't know, comes with a pretty long one as it is. Because they said that was my problem. Because I had problems that uh, I'd sent them saying, you know, the steering has to be cranked three quarters away over on the trim to get it to go straight. Um, they didn't do anything about that um, when I emailed them back of what they told me they found. Um, I also mentioned about the lack of range. They said they put a longer antenna tube on, which, I mean, come on, this is 2.4 gigahertz stuff. I got little dinky antennas that long coming off my GT3, and I get 300 feet. So why do you need such a long one on these? You know what I mean? Um, but they said that they put a longer tube on for that. And uh, as far as the shutting down of the ESC goes, that could have been the battery uh, causing the problem. Uh, that was their thought, but they couldn't recreate anything. So, I guess we're going to have to uh, charge the battery up that's in here now, give it a run, and see what happens. And, of course, they provided me a brand spanking new battery in a sealed package, because they said they tried a brand new battery, which uh, means that's no guarantee that this brand new one here isn't defective either. Underbar. So, uh, I guess we're going to shut it down. We'll uh, make sure the battery's charged up, take her for a run, do some video of it running, and uh, see if it uh, craps out on us or not. So we shall be back very soon. All right guys, we charged up the, the battery that they left in my truck. Everything's all hooked up. And as you can see, I also still have their replacement battery sealed. Now the battery that they left in the truck they said in the paperwork was one that passed. So there was nothing wrong with it. Well, let's see if the truck screws up or not.
Got a car coming down the hill. Central Station around here today. So I would say on a rough guess, I'm about 200 feet away right now. And I still, and I, well, I just had a hiccup. Just hiccuped. if I can beat the car down the hill. Okay, so so far the range seems to be all right. You notice know, where my trim setting is though. This was a complaint I made to them about it being having to be three quarters of the way over and they said they fixed that. I don't know how they fixed anything because that's still in the same spot as when I complained about it. But hey, whatever. Yeah, at least it's you know going to steer straight. But that should never be on any RC that I've ever owned. In fact, I've ever had to have to trim that far over just to get a vehicle to drive straight. So, and of course, you can't adjust any of the steering link bars on this particular vehicle either. Now they did send me some parts uh, before I sent out the truck uh, about this and of course by the time I got the, the parts in uh, for replacement which was just uh, new um, steel balls and uh, new axle carriers um, the truck was already on its way to Texas so I never got a chance to even try out those new parts yet but I did mention it in my report to them as one of the complaints I had was the steering issue and even after adjusting the steering horn which yeah I went over that with them on the phone too and you know in emails and you know I mean they they should have looked a little further into it and they re they really didn't you know so um, you know and the truck's been sitting for a minute now so let's see if it still gets up and goes because we know we did have problems with that where it would just sit for a minute and then not work and it seems to still be working in the backyard of this thing. See how it does back here. Now I did check the battery before I put it on the charger because I'm not stupid. 
and it only had about 7.6 volts left in the battery so it wasn't fully peak charged where it should be at so I mean these batteries they don't keep a charge for very long off the charger even but hey they're nim packs right I guess because all my nim packs seem to start losing a charge even just sitting on the shelf for a day Now what I'm doing here is just giving it a bit of a run, making the motor work a bit to see if it shuts down. Oops, not supposed to hit trees. Full throttle. It was a lot faster on the road. <laughs> Well, okay, so they didn't really address my steering issue at all, so I guess when I get to it I'm going to get some time, I'll try changing those front end parts out, maybe that'll help. If not, I'll find some third party um, parts that give me adjustability over the steering control a little bit better. Dual servo set wouldn't hurt either, I guess. Range seems to be much better, um, we did take it out there at least a good 200 feet on a rough guess it had to be at least that maybe a little bit more so it didn't uh, completely choke out it did hiccup once um, I do find it though rather odd that I mean I have the 110 summit and it's got like this little wee wire that's only a couple inches long and yet I can go forever it seems with that thing and not even have a glitch um, I did have a third party receiver and radio hooked up to this when I tested it uh, way before I sent it out just to see what was going on with it and I mean that third party radio set I already know I get like three four hundred feet range out of those things and uh, I had hiccups too with that 
So maybe they're on the, the right track where maybe I did have a bad battery, which was causing some issues, because so far, I mean, the speed controller hasn't even tried to shut down. The cogging isn't happening. But the funny thing is, is even with the original battery, um, it was kind of fussy if it would have issues or not. And this time, you know, it's working glitch free. And, uh, you know, and like I said, I had two batteries, so they found that one of them was defective. Um, but um, either way, I tried two batteries in this thing, even in a parallel hookup, and had problems. Uh, so I don't know. It, it's a finicky thing, and maybe it is related to the stupid antenna wire, but it's absolutely retarded that with the technology that even Traxxas has at their disposal, that they would make even little machines like this to have to have such a long antenna. I mean, that, that gets in your way a lot. It's, you know, it's just, it looks too toyish, you know, type of thing, but whatever. I'm going to stick with this for a while and uh, with the radio equipment that comes with it and uh, do some more testing. I still have to do the series connection test uh, to see how well that works out. But, uh, I mean, so far, I mean, this is doing pretty good. So I'm, I'm happy that it came back. And, uh, but I am going to write them, though, because they said that to compensate me for the 62 bucks it cost me to ship it to Texas, um, that they would compensate me with a parts package. And uh, they did nothing, as you saw when I opened up the box. And, uh, but whatever, I'll get a hold of them and find out what's going on. And if they do send me a parts package, I'll definitely post it up so you guys know um, that they did actually come good, you know, or not. But anyway, um, look forward to more videos on this machine, as well as a uh, full-out review that will be coming uh, after I mess with this thing for a while. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.